Hey guys, so uh, welcome back I guess. Um, I'm going to show you what I'm going to eat for my uh, lunch. Well, brunch basically. It's brunch food. Um, basically I've got some uh, tofu frying here. Uh, I just started it and I'm using uh, flax oil to cook it. Um, highly recommend getting this. I get it off of Amazon. It's flaxseed cooking oil. Um, tablespoon has uh, two grams of omega-6 and eight grams of omega-3, just in a tablespoon. So, I mean, if you're gonna cook with oil, like, you might as well cook with this. Um, I wouldn't recommend it for like all your cooking. Just, I mainly use it if I'm just frying up stuff. Um, I've got some hash browns uh, in my uh, toaster oven, and I'm gonna make a smoothie. So I'll show you what I put on my tofu. Uh, we got some dill, some pepper, and uh, this is called seasoning salt. I'm pretty sure it's only a Canadian thing, because uh, it says H of H Y S Canada on it. Um, Canada's renowned steakhouse uh, seasoning. <clears throat> so, but yeah, it's, it's it's really good on this. So, I wouldn't use too much of it because it is really salty. So yeah, uh, just let that cook until it's golden on the other side, and then we'll flip it and put seasoning on the other side as well. All right, guys. So I'll show you what I'm gonna put in my smoothie. It's just I, I keep my smoothies really simple. So. I just got a banana. Um, and I do a cup of frozen strawberries. Is anybody else just loving? <clears throat> Does anybody else just love smelling frozen strawberries? It smells delicious to me. Cup of soy milk. And a good helping of uh, a good helping of uh, sunflower butter. Uh, it's my favorite nut slash seed butter. Uh, so yeah. And then I'm gonna put uh, Milled golden, milled golden, milled golden roasted flax seed in it, um, and I put two tablespoons of this in, and I like to put it in after it's been blended for a bit, because then it doesn't spray all over the Vitamix uh, container, and then it's easier to clean up. So. If you're gonna use a uh, ground flaxseed for anything, buy this brand. This is the best ground flaxseed you can buy. All right, guys. <clears throat> so, got my hash browns, uh, tofu, and yeah, I pretty much just cook my tofu like you'd cook eggs. Um, yeah, but uh, sriracha on the tofu, and uh, got uh, some ketchup here for my hash browns, and I got my smoothie and lots of water. So, that's what I eat for lunch, or brunch, on weekends. Okay, so for uh, for supper, uh, I'm gonna be making a shepherd's pie. Um, and I'll have to link to the recipe I'm using, but um, I'm kinda altering it in my own way. Um, like, I think it says to use a bag of like mixed uh, vegetables or whatnot. Uh, I'm gonna use like frozen mixed vegetables. I'm gonna use frozen peas and frozen carrots, but I'm using fresh carrots instead. Um, so I'm gonna start with some olive oil. And, uh, and I've got potatoes here, uh, yellow potatoes, about three pounds worth, um, boiling, and then we're gonna mash those and uh, I don't know, hopefully you know how to make a shepherd's pie, otherwise there's the recipe there. 
But you can follow my alterations if you want. Uh, so I'll be back once stuff's kind of cooking. All right, guys. So the onions are uh, pretty much cooked. Uh, I've just added in the garlic now. I'm just letting that cook a bit, and uh, then we'll add uh, the carrots and celery. Now I'm gonna add in uh, like herbs and spices. All right, so I've got a teaspoon here of thyme. I'm gonna do about half a teaspoon of uh, oregano. Do a full teaspoon of dill. Full teaspoon of uh, parsley, dried parsley. And uh, just, just a little bit of rosemary. Not much, like maybe a quarter teaspoon. And then uh, for for basil, basil basil, got eh, about half a teaspoon. And then we're gonna do a full teaspoon of uh, s smoked paprika. And then uh, about half a teaspoon or a teaspoon of uh, cayenne for some spice. We'll just stir that. Got about three and a half cups of water or so. And uh, you could use normal vegetable stock instead of water if you want, um, or any stock you want. But I've got this vegetarian uh, chicken, uh, chicken bouillon, better than bouillon. And uh, I'll use two teaspoons or so of that. It's just this stuff is such a lifesaver than having to buy vegetable stock. What's that? All right. Now I think the recipe asked for half a cup of lentils, uh, but I'm doing a full cup. Um, I might need to add more water and vegetable or better than bouillon, uh, but I think it should be okay. It's actually been a while since I've made this recipe or made my own version of it, so. All right, now just let that get to a boil and then and then just turn it down a bit. Well, I'll probably turn it up right now. And then let it get to a boil and then once it's at a boil, uh, bring down temperature and just let it simmer. All right guys, so uh, I did have to add uh, almost another cup of water in here. Uh, it's still cooking, but I'm gonna add uh, the rest of the ingredients to it. Um, so I've got, 
yet again, like the recipe didn't ask for this, but I've got uh, a can of uh, red kidney beans here. Uh, actually, my favorite bean. Let me know in the comments what's your favorite bean. And I've got some uh, chopped kale here. And uh, I'm also going to put, uh, so this is for the frozen stuff now, uh, half a cup of frozen peas. Might put more in there. We'll see you here. And then I'm going to do a half a cup of corn. We'll just mix this. And I'm just going to add some uh, salt and pepper at this point now. Also at this point, I uh, preheated my oven to 420. Hashtag blazed. And yeah, just let that cook for a little bit more now. And I'm kind of meal prepping here for my uh, for my lunches here now too. Uh, I'll have a link for the recipe in the in the comments, but uh, it's just a uh, it's called a lentil taco salad, and basically it's just uh, lentils, walnuts, chopped walnuts, and chopped uh, sunflower seeds, and then and then a bunch of like taco seasoning mix inside of here and just mix it together and uh, I'm and then you just have it with uh, like lettuce and other vegetables that you want in your salad and put whatever dressing on it you whatever you want uh, but yeah thought I'd show that to you guys too all right so uh, now for the potato part <laughs> uh, I just got just uh, drained all my potatoes now I'm just gonna mash them mash them and then just put a, some soy milk in there, some vegan butter, salt and pepper, kind of just, I don't really measure it, just put whatever it in to, to taste, so. I'm actually gonna put some uh, dill in there too. It'd be good to put garlic in here too, but I don't really feel like, uh, chopping up or mincing any garlic right now. All right, now we'll set this aside and we'll get ready to put everything together. All right guys, so uh, now you just uh, put it together. Put your lentil mix or whatever in the bottom. And we might have made too much here, but that's fine. You can just, you know, you can eat the rest on the side once you're done with the shepherd's pie. But I think this might be perfect, actually. Kind of depends, I guess, how much. How much of the lentil part and how much of the potato part you want? Did kind of burn at the bottom here, but that's just extra flavor.
it. Yeah, just kind of spread it out. Well, you could put more salt and pepper on the top if you want. I'm just gonna leave it. put it in there for 10 or 15 minutes or so. All right guys, so uh, the shepherd's pie is still cooking. Uh, I did 12 minutes of baking and I switched it over to broil now for at 410 uh, Fahrenheit. And I'm kind of just watching it now. Just, just want to kind of get the top uh, potatoes kind of looking golden or crispy a bit. But I wanted to show you what I'm gonna have also with that uh, lentil taco salad for like a sandwich. Uh, gonna make like a tofu salad sandwich thing. Um, and I just got a block of extra firm tofu here. And we're just gonna crumble it up into this bowl. And now uh, just got uh, some red onion and some uh, cut up pickles. You don't have to put pickles in if you don't want. And uh, I'm gonna put uh, some spices in here. So do a teaspoon of smoked paprika. Teaspoon of uh, turmeric. All right. A bit more. Than a teaspoon. Uh, about a teaspoon of uh, dill, maybe a bit less than that. I'm gonna put a little bit of cayenne. Maybe like a quarter teaspoon. Some pepper. Just a little bit of salt. And uh, some uh, soy sauce. You could also put uh, some lemon juice in here if you wanted. Actually, this recipe is from my girlfriend, uh, just to give her credit. <laughs> and uh, what a you know generous helping of mayo. This is uh, Hellman's vegan mayo. The best vegan mayo in my opinion. Just uh, mix it together. I'm kind of just, you know, adding in shit that I think uh, it needs. Pretty good. You can make this with uh, medium or medium firm tofu as well. And you'll kind of get a different consistency or texture. So might be whatever your preference is. The extra firm just has the most protein in it, you know. Alright guys, so uh, I'm making a lot of shit today. <laughs> I usually I usually don't meal prep or make this much stuff in one day, but uh, I don't know, just kind of the way my schedule worked out. But uh, I'm gonna make uh, like a bean dip here, or uh, refried beans. Uh, I've got some Romano beans. Um, Cause they didn't have pinto beans at the at Superstore. And I'm honestly not sure if they're, if they're even different. Like they might be, they, they, they look this, the Romano beans look like pinto beans. They just seem bigger, so I don't know. They'll, they'll do fine for me now. But I'm just gonna mash them and put in uh, some like taco seasoning and then uh, some salsa also.
Alright hey guys, so I'm gonna make one of those uh, fold up toward uh, Tia things or whatever. You know, you cut it down the middle and you fold it up. Uh, I'm gonna use a little bit of this stuff. It's Ives uh, Mexican Veggie Ground. Um, and I've got that bean dip that I'm gonna, I made earlier. I'm gonna put that into it. Um, and these BioLife uh, shreds. And a bit of lettuce and some salsa. Got the mock meat or whatever warmed up. And I'm just gonna put it on the, I put my cheese on this side and then I fold up this side first and that way the cheese is on the outside so it melts a bit better. Hopefully, I didn't put too much shit in here, and it'll actually fold up. Uh, and I'm also gonna have uh, some raspberries and uh, blackberries as well, and uh, I'll probably make a protein shake as well. Oh, what the fuck! Look at that raspberry. All right, so I'm gonna have protein shake as well. Got eight ounces of soy milk. And uh, this is the protein I'm using right now. It's, Cana it's called Canadian Protein, all natural premium vegan protein blend. Uh, maple brown sugar flavor. It's kind of, it's meh. But I gotta use it up, so. She is a thick boy. <laughs>